<laughs> Welcome to the Off Air Show with Grimmy and Tools. I don't know why she's laughing. I think I think I did that very well, actually. Sure, Nana. How are you? <laughs> I am very... Oh, no, they gave me a... That's they gave a Ghanaian, Ghanaian name, name, no? Yeah, 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 but they gave me a Ghanaian name when I was in Ghana. And I can't remember. It was somebody that was born on a Tuesday. Oh, gosh. Anyway, somebody somebody will let us know in the comments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, the name that they gave me when I was in Ghana. I think my favorite Ghanaian name is Sika. Miss Money. I don't mind Nana. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like Kwame. No, that's one of my mm-hmm. listeners. I like Kofi Kofi, Nana, Ajota, Ajotri. Do, 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 what do, song do, do, is that? I don't know. Uh, it's just a song that, you know, they sing to me when I was younger. Yeah. I can't remember. You know the song, right? No. You don't know. You guys don't know Kofi, Nana. I think they made it up for you too. Anyhow, anyhow, welcome to the show. Um, Today... <laughs> Today, I think you're going to hear more from me because I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm good. I'm here. I showed up. I'm a professional, damn it. Um, and of course, this week's episode is the confessions. And big shout out to... Barnomadic. Thank you for the yeah, yeah, They came through. They came through. And look, look, mine matches my hair. Very nice. My All right. Quite... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we, we have finished the whole bottle. <laughs> Mine doesn't quite match, but it tastes nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have finished the whole bottle. Anyhow. All right. So let's get into this. Um, so we asked a few days ago for uh, you guys to submit your confessions. Mm-hmm. We're family. You guys are off a gang. We're off a gang. You know, we're family. Mm-hmm. And some of you did. Some of you. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I can't some wait to things... get into it. Some of the things that I read, mm. I was just like, wow, 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 wow. Mm. Uh, so we're going to get into the confessions in a little bit. Um, but let's just have a quick chat about the different mm. things that have been going on. Unfortunately, not too long ago, a building in Ikoi, a 21-story building mm. in Ikoi collapsed. And it literally was flattened. Um, I saw pictures and I just was thinking, oh my gosh. And there were unfortunately a lot of people in the building, um, including the developer, lots and lots of workers and, um, you know, some other stuff. So that in itself was extremely tragic. We're still trying to find out exactly what happened. Um, But in the aftermath of that, according to reports, um, the developer's family mm-hmm. have been um, basically fighting over his property. Allegedly. Allegedly. Thank you, Adafwe. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Um, I find that very, very sad. Very yeah. disappointing. And this is not the first time we're going to hear about this. And you know, when you hear about this, you always think, oh, it's people who are less educated or less exposed. Mm. Not quite. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading stuff online about people who, some girl said, oh, when her dad died, that he, the first thing she did before she called relatives was went to the house, locked up everything. Yeah. And then now went back to the hospital and they started calling people to say, oh, he's passed on. And then she said the first thing her father's people did, when I say her father's people, I mean his siblings went straight to the home to try and jack, you know, the, you know, just valuable things, cars, jewelry. Right. But once they met, you know, they met the place locked up and sealed. They came to fight her and her to say, why was it locked? Why was it sealed? I find that just disappointing. I mean, it's so archaic. Yeah. So for me, for me, this is something that, um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this more like common in the East? Yeah, it's common in the east, but yeah. it happens everywhere as well. Some, some um, oh, somebody said, was, the other day somebody was like, oh, you have a lot of friends, so I'm not gonna say that anymore because I don't want it to seem like I'm just splitting my friends, just you know. But a certain she's person using, she's I using know, friends loosely. Yes, you know? yes. So acquaintance sometimes. Mm-hmm. So somebody that I know, um, mm-hmm. unfortunately, you know, their dad passed on, mm-hmm. and before, like, I think he was he was sick Mm -hmm. so when the mom kind of thought that something might happen Mm -hmm. um and they went in the country she called him and she goes change all the locks in the house change Mm. all the locks in the house and then within a few hours he passed on Mm. and it was because there was a particular person who literally was like the person came the person tried to get access to the house and obviously it was locked and he was quite upset but i don't understand this is it from a point of view of okay, my siblings would be able to look after my wife and my kids better? Or is it just a, oh, in case it was my wife that killed me or something like that? I don't understand it because if you're, if if you know the kind of siblings you have, mm. you should have an idea of the kind of siblings you have. Why would you think it would be best to just let them have everything? I think a lot of guys are in denial yeah. or they don't want to admit that, 
you know, their family members are not quite nice. Yeah. You know, same thing, same thing with when, like, you know, as a babe, you're telling your partner, oh, that, you know, your mom said this to me and the person's trying to downplay that. But, oh, no, it's nothing. When you know, you're not a child. Mm. You don't understand? So I think a lot of them are in denial. I don't want to admit that sometimes their family members can be problematic. Yeah. Um, I think that you need to make sure you get your affairs in order yeah, so, so that your hmm. your partner and your children are taken care of. So first of all, you need to do the, there's a letter, I've forgotten the name now. Apart from your will, if you don't have a will, you, there's a letter you should do with your with your attorney, your lawyer, basically just saying it's not enough to just put so so and so is my next of kin. That doesn't it, it doesn't just work that way. And speaking of next of kin, I hear that a lot of guys when they ask for next of kin, put their siblings, their brother, or their father, or something. They don't put like their spouse. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Some of them feel like, ah, whatever I leave behind, mm, I don't want her to now go and remarry and give all my wealth, wealth to... A lot of you don't even have the wealth, but just saying. No, but, so, but, but, so, but some of them... Mm. No, but it, but I'm thinking I'm, I okay. I think I'm thinking like this, right? Okay, you have a wife, you have children. Um, while you're living, and also you know while you're thinking about okay, when I'm not here anymore, mm. I imagine one of your top priorities is to make sure that they're well looked after, and you wouldn't want a situation where a sibling just comes and because you hear you hear all sibling, sorts of stories, uncle, yeah, right, like, that you, you hear all sorts of stories about women dealing. They're still dealing with the death of their partners, and they're being kicked out of the house. They're being you know all the all the different accounts, all the different mm. you know paper mm. paperwork and everything. Somebody is trying to get a hold of it, and they're not even saying okay are you okay what can we do what do you need help with it's just give me this give me this give me that give me this and this the story that i told it was the same situation because the guy was after paperwork he was after paperwork he was mm-hmm. after titles he was after you know all I these different also, things also speaking of paperwork when you have property and stuff a lot of people also do this thing where they put their child's name there as on the paperwork yeah it's, and but see if your child is a minor that could be a problem so make sure that you put it in the name of whoever it is that you want to actually you yeah. know take over from I you guess. know when you pass on if you and it, and this is not just for older people because nowadays we see younger people dying we saw a lot of young people die uh during the pandemic so you need to put your affairs in order god forbid you're not going to die anytime soon you leave to jesus comes many, or whatever many, 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 but many. you need to just put your affairs in order you know whatever it is even if your it is your janky um, <laughs> 504 whatever it is just make sure that or your bq that you're just i remember i remember this guy who young guy um he passed or he was ill and he passed on suddenly and then his you know his people came to the house and said you know we're crying with the wife and they said oh why is this car key? We just want to go to the supermarket to buy a few things. That was the last you saw of that car. So please. Why do people do that? We did get a uh, fan mail from, you know, one of our off-air gang. Mm-hmm. And she wants us to talk about grief. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about that because there are certain things. After my dad died, there's some people that I have their names in a mental register. And I'm like, I'm going to come. I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to come back to that. That's like Arya Stark's list. You yeah. understand because she didn't watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. Whatever. I just said <laughs> yes because I think that. She used to. 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 She No, no, that. I think that I stopped. No, no, no. I stopped. Basically, used to recite names of people that she would fuck up. Yeah, when she got no, the and it was it was the thing is, um, okay, my dad was um eighty two when he died and everything, and people were like, oh, you know this whole oh don't cry, you know he was old. I'm like, yeah, but he's still my dad. Yeah, and yeah. the people that came because my dad was an oba, uh, the people that came because oh there's rice, there's this, and I'm just like, you people have no goddamn shame. What I hate is people who say that they are coming to mourn. And then they are sitting down there and then they are waiting for food. Mm -hmm. Like, it's you know, why not more and go? Why do you have to come there, eat money food, eat afternoon food, eat night food, eat canapes, eat uh, why? See, what I what one of the things that I really, really, really don't like about our culture as Nigerians is the fact that you that you've just lost somebody, Mm -hmm. you're in mourning. These people come and greet you. These people come with their freaking empty bellies, empty wallets, come to your house and they will expect to be fed, to be watered, to, you know, okay. Let me get that too. Do you understand? And then you're supposed to give them transport money as well. And I'm like, you need to realize- Transport money? 
I'm here about trying to money for the first time. No, when they're going <laughs> now, money. when they're going, transport money. As in, oh, thank you for coming or something. With you a know. grieving heart. See, there's so many different. Right there's so economy. many. There's so many different and things. And then you now want to take final. No. <laughs> We we need to we need to talk about the way people. We need to talk about the way people grieve and how they treat people that are grieving. You should be the one. Somebody has lost somebody close to them. Somebody has lost somebody dear to them. Mm. They're very upset. They're very you know they're probably crying. You should be the one to bring them food. You should be the one to like what, what can I do? Need? What can I do for you? Exactly. Not just them. Malan just to eat rice and just you know. I think oh gosh, I was so annoyed. <laughs> there are one or two people that there's one one person in particular that was complaining because she was like oh, you guys don't have jollof rice you only have like rice and stew or something i was just like go to your fucking you house kept quiet oh, but, you but, have but to be honest oh, to be honest she um she said it in front of somebody that told me later on oh so nowadays they don't tell me stuff because they know that you know oh i, I, I thought she said that no 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 if, I, if she said that to me i would have probably head butted her and i would have had every, every right to <laughs> yeah and i would i would want to see who would tell me off for head butting her anyhow we're you gonna talk about say, that yeah, i was grieving i was grieving you know i was in the you know <laughs> in terms of sorrow <laughs> um, <laughs> okay in the latest social media brouhaha <laughs> let me tell you what happened right so do you know these guys that do skits um on social media especially instagram i didn't know there was a skit makers association first of all there is no skit oh, okay. makers association some of them to... gathered themselves there's none they gathered themselves um they have an award show coming up mm-hmm. and they decided to pay a visit to the vice president of the country um, on the normal circumstances, that shouldn't be a problem. But you see, in these times that we are, in this country that we are in, this you know, you all look highly <laughs> suspect and highly long trutish, <laughs> highly elitish is what you look like right now. Now, some of them went. One of the more popular ones was Tawuma, the one who's always slapping people in her skits. No, Tawuma's a girl. Tawuma. Yeah, she's always slapping people in her skits. Oh, okay. That's Same her thing. trademark. Yeah. Slap, slap, slap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she slaps. Yeah. So, um, and then that, I was just trying to make you remember who she is or whatever. And um, apparently, they didn't want, they didn't, at first, they didn't report it that they went, right? But somebody came to blow the whistle on <laughs> the social the media. Blow. And so she found herself explaining Shall why I... people started attacking her. And she, at first, she was attacking them back. And then eventually she was like, this is the reason why we went. And then she was like, oh, also that she brought to the vice president's notice that Twitter was banned. Apparently, he didn't know that Twitter what? was banned. So he said that by Thursday, meaning today, that you're watching this thing, that it will be unbanned. Is it unbanned? Are you going to really believe that Mr. My Hands Are Tied is, does, did not know that Twitter was banned? Are we... <sighs> I didn't know about that one. Are we, <laughs> I didn't know about that whole... Are we, that whole the, are we you know, five? Are we, are we five years old? So he he said that he didn't know that Twitter was banned. Wow. So, so, so he said that with immediate effect, so he'll make he sure that by Thursday, which is today, that they will unban it. Sure but yeah, chief, so maybe the they will, I don't know. But, um, you know, then Mr. Macaroni came out yeah. to say, you know, that That's people should not insult them because mm-hmm. they were getting a lot of insults and, you know, people, people they said people should not insult them. Mm-hmm. You know, that he also got, he, he got an invitation to go along with them, but he chose not to because especially at what has happened, you know, in this, in this country, especially last year with the whole NSAR yeah. situation. And he got he, arrested at yeah, one point. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. So he was like, he wasn't interested and he was like, oh, he was trying to solicit for them. Oh, you know, please don't, don't abuse them. They actually believe that speaking with these people would, you know, make them listen to us. First of all, so what do you think? Now, some people argue that if you want things to change, mm-hmm. you have to get close to the people in power um, to make the, to make this change. Some people believe there's no point in sitting with them because they already know the issues. Let me um, let me give you an example. So I'm in I'm like on the fence. If I'm going to be very honest with okay. this one, um, right now I'm I, as you're talking, I was thinking about it. Like if they did a um, if they had like an a, an association of OAPs and they said to 
come and meet um, uh, uh, VP or some or, or something. And let's talk about the issues that the young people are facing and everything. Um, I, I, there'd, there'd be a part of me that'd be like, you know what? This current administration, if we're going to be honest, right, it's kind of not been very good. Do you understand? They've been woeful. Yes. The performance has been woeful. Yes. So I would I would think twice about it, but then I'd be like, okay, is this like a genuine, a genuine like way for them to like try and, you know, make things better? No, I would actually think about it. Will you go? Hmm? Me, I, you know now I'm scared of these things though. Come on, Lopakwa, and put me in black mirror. You know me, I can't survive in jail. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I mean people also but, accuse them of take of going there for you know brown envelope, brown whatever envelope. it is. On on the flip side, on the flip side, if you want things on, look at what Kim Kardashian did with Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. If she didn't go to Donald Trump and Donald Donald, I think from the beginning when he was still doing um what's it called again? What's the name of the show? Apprentice. The Apprentice. Apprentice. He made it quite clear that he was attracted to her, and she kind of used it to her advantage. She got she. There were a few people Shut that there. she she got pardoned and everything. No, no, no. If you think about it, True. so I'm on the fence because really and truly, you need to think about how this thing is going to make you look. The main reason I would probably say no. The main reason I'd probably say no is I would be like, look, there's no way I'm not going to look bad. But then, have they unbanned Twitter? Yeah, no way. Um, attraction I'm wondering about. Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, but wait, but wait. But, 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 but what if, what if... Trump and Kardashian. So Karma and no, the, 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 I, it's funny you bring up Trump and the whole Kardashian thing and her, you know, seeking clemency for people. But, you see, in America, mm-hmm. the case is that nobody is giving you a brown envelope because you came to visit the president. Do you understand? We live in a peculiar country where people are hungry and will do anything for money mm. or, or just anything to be close to power. So you cannot go, especially after this whole, maybe before enters, maybe before mm. all that, yes, yeah. I understand. But in this situation with this administration yeah. that, that promised us heaven and earth mm-hmm. and they've been in for how long and they still haven't delivered? Delivered mm. they what? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> no but but like i said if i got an invitation i would really think how on earth do these people expect me to do this without it looking like i'm like dining with the enemy mm. you know so th- see these these are the things you need to bear in mind and um i'm sure there's some people that went to this thing because they thought they were going to get a brown envelope perhaps you yeah. know you know, there's. I mean, let's be honest. There's some people that probably did it just because they were like, ah, you know what? If they're sharing money, let them not go out and forget me or blah 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 blah. But if you're going to make these kind of decisions, you need to be able to deal with the repercussions. You need to be able to deal with like what people are going to say. There's no way. There's no way that people are going to be like this current administration. Everything that they've done, everything that they've not done. You guys went to chill with them, blah 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 blah. And then the whole. T- yeah, what are you going though. to discuss with them? I, do you think they don't know what is happening? Apparently not. Dot. He this didn't know person, Twitter was bad. This person who, 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 he did not Twitter was they bad. They printed out <laughs> tweets was, was for him Asso, Asso <laughs> during, the, during the protest. Okay. Come on, <laughs> man. Like he, so that maybe was, that was maybe maybe, his main spot. maybe Twitter his, was his, his club. Maybe his, so, his internet service provider hasn't been working for the last since June. Or uh, maybe they just put VPN on his phone. You know, and he didn't know. He didn't know. Maybe. I know. Like and I'm then, just trying to understand how that thing went. Did, sir, did you know that Twitter's bad? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what a what a Ricky Monroe. <laughs> what what a oh wow! You it know, shall be on bands. The reason why people are very upset with this man is that you know <laughs> your president. Yeah. You know he's old. You know and former military okay. ruler. You know so he definitely. People didn't expect some people expected a lot, but I didn't. Now, this man is probably the most educated person that has occupied the seat of mm-hmm, the vice president, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. I had that proximity to the president. Also, he apparently allegedly he's a pastor or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what parish or whatever. So they really, you know, he really gave this, you know, oh, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> but, you know, everything's gonna be great. You know, I know that I, there are bad eggs in the in the government, you know, but I'm gonna try and Bruh, hey, try. You did at not all. try at all. Long and short, did, did, should they have gone? I don't think I wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have they gone. Shouldn't have unless I was going straight for There's the money. There's no way you're gonna look good, even if you yeah. went there with the purest of intentions, which is stupidly naive. There's no way you'd have looked good. 
mm. actually in this era mm. of social media mm. where they destroy you like they finish you yeah. and they finish them they mm. did they did i don't i i'm trying to understand like you know the people that did have um pure intentions or whatever i'm trying to understand what those intentions were like stuff like this i would have weighed okay this is going to happen. Mm. The news is going to get out. Mm. What is, does it mean for me? What does it mean for my reputation? What Obviously, does it even look gonna, like? People are going to drag you left and right. Standing, taking a picture with these people right now that mm. the entire populace, a lot of people are not happy with. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Everything has cost though. Uh-uh. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> All right then. Now, um, Summer Walker released her album. Mm-hmm. And um, before she released the album, she, uh, the last track was um, Sierra's Prayer, mm-hmm. narrated by Sierra. For the longest time, people have been like, Sierra, which, what prayer did you say? 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 Why? Can and, you break it down as to why? For those who don't know, okay, as to why so, they feel like she said some sort of prayer. Sierra was with Future. Everybody knows Future. Mr. Now, see, before you know, Future, let's take it back. Was, before Future, she, she was she with Bow Wow. Wow. After Bow Wow, she was with Fifty. Yeah. After Bow Wow, she was with Fifty. Yeah, Fifty Cent. I forgot about Fifty Cent. Listen, after Bow Wow, she was with Fifty. After Fifty, she was with Future. Future. And she was Baby Mama number. I don't know, three, four, I don't know. No, no, no. I think it was more than three. Yeah. Five, I think. So she, so she, she hasn't, you know, made the best um, decisions when it comes to men. And then obviously she was engaged to Future, and then you know it got messy. They had a son you know and then they they went their separate ways Mm -hmm. then she started dating russell Mm -hmm. russell wilson an american footballer he's an american footballer Mm -hmm. and he was married to this um to this um lady and apparently she cheated on him so they got divorced Mm -hmm. as some people were saying oh sierra sierra like you know interfered and i'm like no as far as i know he was fully divorced yeah before they yeah so they started dating she became a bit more spiritual because i followed both of them Mm -hmm. and i remember that i was like okay sierra seems to be in a different place I think she even said they were celibates. Yeah, yeah, she did. But basically, a lot of people felt that she... (laughs) A lot of people felt that she landed herself a super, super rich, like, athlete... Who uh, absolutely cuts. yes who absolutely adored her mm-hmm. and he also took on um the role of stepdad mm-hmm. and he took that role very seriously mm-hmm. so everyone just felt like she landed herself like a gem mm-hmm. but then at the same time okay forget about bow wow and whatever i you know <laughs> sarah's actually not a bad catch she's actually really she was catching <laughs> that's it anyhow so um finally um we we now have sarah's prayer and a lot of people were very excited about that. Um, and I read it. And I found it interesting because it was obviously a conversation with God. Uh-huh. And she was basically like in a, in, a, in a point where she was hurting. And she was like, look, I don't want to feel like this anymore. And the next guy that comes into my life, I want him to be my husband. I want him to treat me this way. I want him to treat me that way. God. But did she say that she actually had a, said a prayer? I think people just said, people what, assumed, did you, what, did what did you, you say? say? What did you what do did you do? buy yes, this kind of yes, yes, clean cut this guy thing. who has money? Who doesn't have, you know, the the typical footballer in America has his wife, mm-hmm. and then also has you or know two baby mamas, baby or baby mamas or side chicks because mm-hmm. they have so much money. Drug problem they, too. They put um, you know, they put they give them so much money basically. Yeah. Like their contracts are so heavy, like yep. so much money. So they they have so much freedom mil, and they can do whatever they want. So a lot of times. A lot of these guys are always getting into trouble. They always have DUIs yep. or something. But this guy is just clean cut. We've not heard a whiff of any rumor of any side chick or anything like that. So people are like, gosh, Sarah, where did you get this clean cut Cut soap for me. Cut soap. Because like, he, so he seems, quote unquote, like yeah. every girl's dream. Yeah. You know, he's good looking. He has a good career. He's... He's a loving father. Uh, although a lot of people say he's corny, but I'm just like a lot of people feel like oh that he doesn't have enough edge, enough that swag. He's not swag. He doesn't have swag. He doesn't. Have... You know what? You can see. I've always said this thing to girls. Forget about swag. Forget about all those things. Is this person going to give you peace of mind? Yes, yeah, so peace of yes. mind. Peace of mind. Peace of mind of swag, man. Do you understand? Mm. Forget about oh, this person 100%, does not have. Hundred mm. Is this person because you want swag? <laughs> You know, you are swag, but is this person going to, you know, if this person is not next to you at night, do you go to bed thinking, 
he'll be all right. Or are you thinking, hey, God, whose bed is he in tonight? <laughs> you understand? Or the person goes on a trip and you're already thinking, ha, huh, God, oh, who is he hollering at? Do you understand? Or, or you've had to come, you've had to do this whole, I'm coming to you as a woman several times. <laughs> do you understand? You've had to like slide into people's names. Anyhow, so some people like were very happy um, that she released, that the prayer had been released. So some people, Sorry. some people were um, upset because they felt like, well, how do you know Russell didn't pray for her? He actually said, yeah, he said that they went times. somewhere and I think they were interviewed or something and they were like, oh, Sierra, tell us a prayer. You prayed to God to get land this man. He said, I actually prayed for her. I actually prayed for somebody like her. Like I wanted, I told God exactly what I wanted and, you know, she came into my life. So, um, the, so this prayer that she's reciting on Summer Walker's album, which is monotonous, by the way, I listened to it yesterday and I was just yearning. Like, great, <laughs> but it just sounded like the same two or three songs over on a loop over and over and over again so and it's sprinkling it's sprinkling of shit it's sprinkling of nigga it's sprinkling of oh, some people know. are feeling they're feeling the hell out of the album and though. obviously because she's taking shots Calling at her out. baby yeah. mama her baby daddy rather London, London on the track mm-hmm. but then again I'm just but oh, Sha, wow. that's that's a, that's is on by the way so is it that she wrote this prayer afresh for this like okay if, if I actually did say a prayer this is what it would be like or it could be like a summary of the different prayers that she was praying. Yeah. And um, I think, I, I I don't understand why people, there's some people that, are, that were upset about it. I'm like, why? I'm like, really and truly, looking for a life partner is probably one of the most important things you're going to do in your whole life. If it is that important to you. Because yes. it's not that important to a lot of people, to some people. Okay, if it is important to you, mm-hmm. you know, it's one of the biggest decisions you're going to make. So obviously, if you are spiritually inclined, mm. it's something that you should pray about. And I mean, it's something you, that both sides should pray about. If you can pray about good health, you can yeah. pray about about blowing money, why would they not pray about, you know, and if this is important to you, a life partner, yeah. if you are into marriage or life partnerships or whatever it is, Nothing wrong with praying yeah, for a life that. partner. Well, and I want to know, like, do guys pray? Like, yeah. oh, God, for, like, like I, if if you, first of all, let's just assume, you want to get married? Mm-hmm. 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 So have you ever prayed to God and said, God, please, I just want someone X, Y, Z? Yes. Yeah, and do you pray about, Daniel didn't like, say anything. do you pray about the physical <laughs> or, Daniel like, didn't the say whole... anything. No, it's more about the mental. Yeah, okay. it's more... It's never about the physical. Do you kind of yeah. pray like... Yeah. Yes, no. Forget so, that. Okay, so I never sh- should well, do well, the physical. Well, like, like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like, God, yeah. please give me... Like, God, please give me a wife with an ass like Nicki Minaj. You don't pray like that. I don't know what you guys pray for. I'm just checking. I don't think there's anything to ridiculous to pray about, to be honest. If you want somebody, if you're big on looks, and you want, you know, the person that's going to give you peace of mind, and you want that person in a package that you'll be attracted to... Because you're not blind now. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is that a lot of but a lot of the finest people you find have issues. That's what, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't pray for the we don't pray for the physical because you can see it's the you have to physical so you can edit it. Like God. So you, you guys pray like regularly, but there's regular. also this argument. But there's also this argument also that the finest people have issues. Why? Because they're so fine, they get passes all their lives. They don't know how to act. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's true. That, yeah, or or I find that people that are extremely, extremely good looking, mm. um, they never really develop personalities because yeah. people are just you know just gawking at yeah. them, so they don't have that. They lack depth sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Mm. Now before yeah. they come for us, sometimes. Yes, but I want it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not Miss World, but I'm, I'm alright with that. It's alright. <laughs> I'm a pie. It's <laughs> fact. I am nobody. I, I am, <laughs> I am a fine ass dish of the most delicious small okay, chops so you've ever tasted. Small chops, small chops. Look, small chops will change your freaking life. You are small. A good, a you good are small place. Small, 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 small. I didn't say small. I didn't say small. I didn't say small. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? You guys are assholes. Please, can we get to the confession? You guys are assholes. All right. Okay. What does that mean? All right, so it's time, and I'm going to read your name as well. You freaking little harlots. 
So, okay. <laughs> apart from telling you guys to tell us your confessions, which of course we're going to keep anonymous, my we decided to ask, like, those of us in the studio yeah. to also confess something. So, we wrote something down yeah. on a piece of paper. We're going to do that. We're going to do that in a bit. Last, let's, let's, okay. yeah, let's read out some of the. So, oh my goodness. I got a lot mm-hmm. of, I got a lot of people like telling me their secrets. And I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> so, let me see. We're just going to go through a few. Mm-hmm. And these are some that I didn't post. I posted um, quite a bit the mm-hmm. day that I asked. Mm-hmm. Um, and then these are some that I didn't post. Um, this person says, I'm breaking up with my boyfriend once I relocate to the UK. Mm-hmm. He's having an affair. I think that's As fair you enough. should, girl. I think that's fair enough. But why, you know. when she, why when you get to the UK? No, so I should pay him more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe he gave her money. <laughs> you know. Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm having an affair with my boss. He has opened my eyes to a different world sexually. I'm 21. The uh. day his wife gave birth, we were together. I felt so much guilt. Not enough guilt because you're still in the freaking situation. <laughs> the day you give birth when you were married, mm. where will your partner be? Do you understand? Um, it's a lie. It will be next to you. Don't <laughs> let him <laughs> see you. There's no karma. There's no karma. There is there is karma. No, no, no. There's mm-hmm. karma. The thing is, karma isn't always instant. Mm-hmm. It's, but then I think that if you, I honestly feel like if you've been going around like hooking up with people's partners left and right, when you finally get your partner, I don't think you should expect them to be monogamous. You know, it's true. I haven't had sex for years. This is not me, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I kind of had a baby last year, so I <laughs> um, haven't had sex for years. A young widow, a young widower, mm-hmm. a young widow, sorry, with two girls. Um, is it safe for my health? No, sex is. What did you say, say again? I think this is a woman. I haven't had sex for years. A young widow with two girls. Is it safe for my health? It's not safe How are you coping, girl or guy? Get some. Yeah, get some, man. Please. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like a legal requirement. Like a plea, you know? Like a plea, you know? <laughs> no, especially looking after kids by yourself, everything. That's a, they, you need to, you know, you need something. Know, you need to relax. Yeah. You need to find well, something no. to relax. She's no longer married. Um, I don't understand. She's no longer married. Her she should husband. find somebody. Find she, wait, hold on a second. She's, she's a young friend. widow. Young widow. She's young. probably still very in her, in her sexual prime. Yeah. Of course. To... Young widow. Young. The only thing, the only thing I don't understand. Market, the only thing I would say is whoever you're planning to, if, if it's a serious relationship, mm. if it's just to, you know, tickle your fancy, <laughs> just don't, you don't need to bring them around your kids. That's the only thing I'd yeah, say. Till yeah, you're yeah. till you're sure sure. Yeah. Um, I want to leave my partner and I don't know how. We have a six month old baby. I'm so done. Ah. Yeah, leave now. Yeah. But but is it is it is it because not with a six month old. Yeah, it's is not, it because not, you, is not, it because you're not really supported? Yeah. yeah. See, like it's not See, honestly, like in this Even situation support. now, in this situation now, it's it's easy to say leave, but mm-hmm. it's not so. It's actually not easy. easy but you to don't do. want to bring up your child in this unhappy environment. Talks, you are yeah. so done. Meaning you are done. Mm. Uh-uh. I hate sex after baby. I really hope it changes. I'm three months postpartum. I would advise that you speak to our friend that came on the show, Olori yeah. Koitos. Yes. yes, yes, she might be able to help. Yeah, she just and, had a baby. She just had twins, actually. Oh, congratulations! Mm-hmm. And um, I think it's it's normal for some women. I think it's it's a mixture of things. It's like you know your body changing, mm-hmm. things feel different. So maybe give it some time. But I body think, image as well. Yeah, I think it's also very important to communicate with your partner. I think you know the, the the probably I'm not a relationship expert, but I think the wrong thing to do is probably to feel this way and not communicate properly to mm. him. So mm. if you're not feeling, you know, I don't know. For me, like I was like my belly. I don't like the way my belly looks. If it is that's it, just try and communicate and everything. Um, I cheated on my baby daddy with my ex, and it has been affecting me mentally. I don't know. Say so lost, say lost prayer. Forgive yeah. yourself. Take Forgive yourself. Um. At 45, I have not really had sex. I don't understand. Oh. How come? We, maybe she is all bad. Literally, how come? <laughs> maybe, I mean... Uh, no, maybe she's... Maybe she... Maybe she, uh, she we don't know if he, it's a she, actually. He, maybe he, this person's like, never had, like, an orgasm. Yeah, yeah, or not even had sex in general. Maybe they're just awkward or whatever. I don't know. <sighs> I don't support prostitution, but... Can you not just hire somebody? No. That person is just going to be there just to... There's no... They're not there because they want to please you. They're there because they just want to collect their money. So I don't... But if they're going to do the job... 
Do you really want to smash somebody that's going to be like, oh yeah, enter. If you're a guy, for example. Or, you know. Mm-mm. As in if you, yeah, for guys, for guys don't have issues with that, do they? Uh, uh, yes, they do. Oh, whatever. Um, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> really? What's like, do you really want to smash someone that's just going to lay there and say, yeah, oh yeah, just, enter. Fuck out of here, Joe. You know. What's that? Young girls. <laughs> yes. Like, see, let's not talk about it, guys. Please, no. Wait, there's some guys. There's some guys who don't care. They're idiots. They're idiots. <laughs> I had sex with my cousin's wife. <laughs> the first time was a mistake, but we keep we kept doing this. What are we are mad? What are we actually mad? I know someone who did that and end up with. Oh, I can't tell you because oh, anyway, she had a child, <laughs> no child. Yes, fuck it. Multiple so, children. What? God damn it, man. Um, I was in a violent relationship when I realized I got pregnant oh. and I aborted it, and I never told him. You don't need to tell him anything. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Don't tell him anything. No need. No need. No need. Um, my husband hasn't touched me for about six months now. I'm worried. Why? Cool. You guys think he's cheating? That's too bad. Oh, I mean, is it cold for the hundred miles? What if he's having erectile malfunction? Yeah, I was gonna say. No, a lot of guys. A lot of guys don't want them to tell their partners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if if a guy hasn't touched his partner for six months, he's most likely cheating. Okay, okay, no, but that's not but okay. So what if a, what if a woman has refused? What if a woman has refused to sleep with her husband for six months? Is she cheating? No, no. call she one eight hundred. My husband is cheating. If she has no effect, call one eight hundred. My husband is cheating because if you don't sleep with him for six months, he has gotten the answer. So what is your what is your threshold? Like, okay, this person smashed me for X Y Z a weekend. No, it's longer. It's longer. One week. Like a week? <laughs> One week? <laughs> so, so it's... Do so, it to be real. Yeah, yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. Your partner, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Partner. Your partner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you give your partner a week, a week or... Two months. No, yeah, two months. Couple two months and a session. Will you try to find out what's wrong? You did. That's yeah, you not interested. interested. You will try to find out what's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You will try to smash a few times. Two months. You say no. Two months. Two months is because you, you like And then two months you start looking at elsewhere. What if it is... On the one is, two is, is, application. So at the end of month two, you were... What if it's for medical reasons, for example? She does no, she lets you know that, yo, the doctor says, you know what, don't touch her for yeah, three that's, months. That's 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 what if she's yeah. pregnant Which and she can't? Yeah, yes. it's, that's understandable. But mm-hmm. there's some like, oh, in a situation reason. where there's no reason. Oh, it's like a terminal illness like cancer. Yeah, then yeah, that's all of that. But you still smash outside. You still get No, no, no. Let me tell you something. That line is now dirty. You like someone. No, 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 for real. Look at me. Maybe, maybe he will go longer. <laughs> maybe he will go longer than two months. Maybe he will go six months. Oh, maybe he will go a year. You're not a deep but deep even deep. with terminal cancer, eventually, he will smash outside. Oh my god. Not... Guys, now. Oh my gosh. Not if she doesn't die for five years. What if she doesn't die for five years? You better. You better. You better. You better. You better. You better. You this guy I think she was someone. Somebody, somebody that's, that's dying of cancer, you want to be begging them. Can I, I see somebody else? That's why I said you. That's what I'm saying. You options. That's why I asked you what the truth. I want to ask you what the truth. You guys are just. Oh my gosh. All right. It's okay. Next, next one. I'm going to just do like two or three more. Next one. My boyfriend has been hitting me for years, and I don't have the courage to let anyone know. And we're getting married soon. Are you mad? Simple. That one is soon now. Because she's not even married yet. That one is I don't know. I don't I I don't know what I don't know <laughs> I don't even have the English to Could it be me? you know uh-uh. So so he's been hitting you for years. You haven't been able to tell anyone about it. Years. And you're still contemplating getting married to this, this person. person can kill what you. do you think is going to happen? Do you think the minute he puts he's, the ring on your I finger, do you think the has, minute you exchange vows he's never gonna he hit you again? Serious control over mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is this is you know what? I mean, yeah. hopefully this person is watching. Mm-hmm. Um this person could kill you. Yeah. This person could actually kill you uh, if they've mm. been hitting you, and then you they know that you haven't really told anyone. What's gonna happen? One day it's just gonna it's gonna go it's too far. So even if it's please 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 please, please haven't run. There's no amount of money in this world that yeah, that should warrant you chopping yeah, slap, please or beating. What kind run, of run run run! I slept with three of my lecturers in school. You better freaking come out with the first class. <laughs> Anything less, that's just a waste of freaking panani. <laughs> 
No, I'm sorry. I'm Why just imagining <laughs> the have you have you seen these guys? <laughs> yes, I How many did she see with? I don't Three. think she's saying for a piece of mind. Right. I don't think saying we're really confession. Like, well, you yeah, it's confess. But what I'm saying black, is, no, you're as as your as you're confessing, you're confessing, as you're confessing, record the conversation. It's different. Now, what you told the school like 15 years ago, there was no phone. Dial three, three different. Yeah, the app one. You see, you school abroad, you get out. <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> not watch? Did you not watch Sex for Grades? Did you watch Sex for Grades? Yeah, documentary? you know what? That's what the girl said. No, no. That's in 2020 something. Guys, 2006. See, when that Sex for Grades documentary came out. People started calling out lecturers from the 90s. Yeah. You would never better for I Mr. Imagine. Kiniko Kiniko, Professor so Kiniko crazy. Kiniko, this one Kiniko Kiniko. People were, they were, they were people that were, you know, some of them had moved abroad, some of mm. them had children, they some never forgot. in their 40s, but they're just like, oh, this God. man did this, he locked his office door, he raped me, this one, that one, this, yeah. this that. So, yeah. Mm. Mad. All right, second to the last one. I can't connect with my eight-week-old baby and I hate myself for that. Mm. Um, this happens. Yes, it does happen. It's probably not as rare as you think. Mm. I think everybody kind of thinks that, first of all, you're supposed to not really complain about the pregnancy process. We mm. kind of scratched that myth <laughs> last season. Uh, you're supposed to have, you're supposed to like, you know, bring this baby into the world. Baby's supposed to look at your, look deep in your eyes and, and be like, you oh, and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it doesn't always, it doesn't always happen like that. It doesn't always happen like that. See. I would say, and then this could be also down to um postpartum depression are you getting enough support at home are you and then you know, then then very very important right when i wasn't sleeping enough i was crazy mm-hmm. i was crazy so something as it might seem very small but it, it's actually a very very big See, thing are you getting enough rest are you sleeping enough all of these things no kind of affect how you feel sleeps enough yeah no, i can't remember the last time i slept and woke up when i wanted do you understand? Or mm. getting a decent amount of sleep. Mm. I think, I think honestly, if I'm going to say this, since having kids, I have not been able to sleep as long as I've wanted to. Yeah. I've not been able to. Now, recently, I've not been able to go to the bathroom myself because they just, like, mom, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm trying to, you know. And they just sit there and they watch you. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> but, <laughs> but honestly, just, just take it easier on yourself because this is actually, like I said earlier, it's probably not as rare as you think. And um, if there's any way you can, you know, get like a counsellor or speak to somebody, give yourself time. I think for some women, it does happen like that. Mm. You do you do have women that eventually, we don't talk about these things enough. Mm-hmm. You do have women that eventually say, look, when I first had my child, I didn't connect immediately. Sometimes you have women that connect immediately. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. Mm-hmm. And then there's, there's so many different emotions. There's so many different hormones that You're come into play as well. Too. You're tired. Um, the last one I'm going to read mm-hmm. is... We need to do this again because I love knowing you guys business, man. <laughs> um, this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. My husband died. Even though I feel sad, there's a bit of, re- of relief. We weren't a good fit. <laughs> I'm suspecting you. That's just... I mean, but would it be... It can things... I like maybe he was abusive. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe like, well, see, people just... feel like want to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe it was that was a bit of a shock to me why yeah and then do you know the craziest thing do you know the craziest thing somebody sent me a message oh my gosh that sounds like my friend and i was like what do you know how many people are married people that they can't stand yeah 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 yeah. you know you're happy that the person died i mean i mean she said but maybe when they got married everything was fine and then gradually over like eh? years a decade or two and love are sexy Marriage in itself is not sexy. It's a lot of work. You say you people think, oh, you'll just be knocking every day in the in the kitchen. In the... No, there's <laughs> bills that need to be paid. You need to call the plumber, the electrician, the person. Maybe well, there's all sorts of stuff going on. You know, and people are dealing with so many different yeah. things. If it's not in law, wahala, it is money issues, or the person doesn't communicate well, or the sex is lacking. Or something. There's always some. Every couple has something Shit they're, they're dealing with, man. Yeah, and everybody's always look at his face. <laughs> you know, not not so that they're not happy you know. ones. I mean, it's yeah. not every day you wake up and you're happy as even yeah. an individual as you are. It's not every day that you wake up and there's money in your pocket and you're okay. You have to you make have to, a you decision. Make an effort. Yeah. You have to make a conscious decision every day to kind of be like, okay. I'm going to like this person today. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, a lot of people are actually uh, married to people that they don't like yeah. anymore. 
Yeah. You know, so that's very true. So this one, as much as it was a bit of a shock, I was thinking about it. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, did she kill him? And then <laughs> afterwards, I was like, you know what? Maybe it just got to that stage where maybe they've just tried so many different things. Maybe she wanted to leave, but she couldn't leave. Maybe she never enough even, money or yeah, something. Or, or they've not even tried you know, at all. Yeah, maybe. Could be. Yeah. So let's look through our... So what we did, we all, we all took a piece of paper and wrote our own confession. And then every... So there's five of us right now. So, yeah. So uh, who's going to read it out? I, I think... Accent guy. guy. Accent guy. guy. Okay, let him read it out. Okay. Best accent. Best accent. <laughs> Read it out, Joe. Read it out. This one is. This one is. Are we, we're not guessing who said what, right? No, 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 Maybe it's oh, I, I have it. I have it. Oh, I have but I, I already know who that is. Okay. That's TK. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Why are you guessing? Oh, no, guess right, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. No. okay. Alright, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. This one's a long one. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I ever want kids. I just want a wife and live happily ever after. That's okay. definitely Bimmy. We know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you already have kids. No, I'm saying. Like, I'm just. I'm being sarcastic. We know who that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's serious. So yeah, I'm not sure I want kids. So, I just want a wife and to live happily ever. Mm. This one says, like and sleeping with my ex's friend. Mad. Wait, come on, you. Wait, say that again. Like and sleeping. You with like my and you're just says like ex's yeah. friend. It doesn't wow. say I. It doesn't say anything. It just this says like. I'm over here looking at y'all like. Mm-hmm. 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 Somebody, mm-hmm. somebody, mm-hmm. somebody mm-hmm. here. Okay, oh. somebody here is sleeping like with their you. ex's friend. Somebody here has had a threesome. Somebody here um said no. They don't that threesome that one. It sounded like they have it like on a regular yeah, like basis. Yeah, like it sounds like you're having a like, like, are we down for Saturday? Is it like cool? every Sunday thing? Do you understand? <laughs> I don't even know. You know. Part of my four. Okay. Okay, a billionaire tried to toast me, and sometimes I, I regret ignoring. I don't know the person. I don't know the person. It's not on this side. What? What? It could be a female billionaire. It could be a female billionaire. It could be a person. Let me say something. Can I be a billionaire? I don't know what you want. Why am I here? Okay. <laughs> Shall we okay. proceed? Last. last but not least. <laughs> last but not least. <laughs> so who tried to do it? <laughs> 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 Involve us now. Really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I hooked up with a new partner and my old partner on the same day. Wow. Somebody in this room hooked up with their old and new partner on the same day. Somebody in this room was tested by a billionaire and regrets ignoring. Somebody in this room said they had it or they have threesomes. Mm-hmm. On somebody a regular in this basis. Room said, um, they like and they are and smashing their ex's friend. friend. And somebody in this room said they're not sure if they want kids, but they shall want a happy marriage or whatever. So, hmm. who do you think said what? <laughs> you people are hollows. All of you. Hollows. <laughs> On that note, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you haven't done so, please, please, please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Um, if you want to confess as well, by all means, feel free to. Feel free. Yes, get yes, into yes. our DMs. Yep. And yeah, but make sure you like and subscribe our YouTube uh, uh, channel, like our videos, all of that. Send to your group chats. I know your group chats are popping. Mm-hmm. Send to your group chats as well. And a big shout out to Bar Nomadic for coming through. See ya. Peace.